Hey, Catherine, have you seen your useless mom anywhere? I've been yelling her name like crazy, but she's not responding. Ugh, I really need a massage right now, and I want her to give it to me ASAP. Dad, what are you talking about? Have you completely forgotten what went down yesterday? What? What happened? I don't remember, and I don't care. All I want is some massage, and that's it. Is that mule of a wife in the mood for some beatings or what? Dad, I can't believe you're saying those things, especially after what you did to mom. She's in the hospital at the moment, undergoing treatments. Hospital? What are you talking about? Why does she need some fancy treatment? I don't have the money for that kind of stuff. Just tell that useless cow to come back home already. Dad, don't you remember anything? Last night, you came home drunk and caused chaos. You were throwing things around, vomiting on your bed and made a huge mess. But that's not all. You even pushed mom down the stairs and she ended up with a broken clavicle. How can you be so cruel? Is there any limit to your actions? What? Who do you think you are to raise your voice at your own father like that? You ungrateful little brat. Come out here and I'll give you a severe ass whipping. I'll teach you who's the boss around here. Dad, you really need to stop drinking, yelling, and constantly bossing everyone around. It's causing so much stress for everyone in this house, and it's not fair. And what you did to my mom is just beyond messed up. Pushing her down the stairs? Do you even realize that's assault and battery? It's a serious crime, and you should be held accountable for it. Sure, bring it on. Go ahead and call the cops or whoever you want to come and arrest me. Guess what? I've got the police on speed dial. No biggie. I know every single cop in this close-knit community. Thanks to my money, power, and connections, the police wouldn't dare lay a finger on me. I'm practically untouchable, you hear me? Dad, you're being really mean. Remember, what goes around comes around, so you can't escape the consequences of your actions forever. Psh, check you out. All tough talk for a 20-year-old brat. What can a rascal like you even do to me, huh? Sue me and drag me to court? Please, you don't even have a dime to your name. Remember, it's none other than yours truly, dear old dad, who's footing the bill for your college tuition. So why don't you cut the crap and give your lazy ass mommy a ring to come home in an instant? Didn't I just explain this to you recently? Mom is in the hospital, so she can't come home right now. Do you even understand how serious her injury is? She had to undergo surgery for it for crying out loud. Blah, blah, blah. I don't give a darn about that good-for-nothing woman. So, she's in the hospital, huh? I bet that lazy bum is using it as an excuse to avoid doing any chores. I don't provide her with food, clothes, and a roof over her head for nothing. I need her to pull her weight and handle the household tasks for me. How can you say such hurtful things? Crystal is my mom and she's your wife. You've been married to her for over 15 years. The least you could do now is show some compassion and understanding towards her. No matter if it's been 10, 15, or 20 years, the truth is I never saw that piece of trash as my wife, okay? She's just some kind of servant around here. So why should I bother being nice to that dumbhead? So you really think of mom as nothing more than a servant? Then why did you even marry her in the first place? And if there's no love between you, then why haven't you just gotten a divorce? Why continue to prolong this unhappy marriage? You think your precious mommy is a catch or something? That pathetic loser didn't even finish middle school. I married her hoping she'd give me a son. But all she managed to do is bring another useless girl into this world, just like herself. What a waste of my time and effort. I'm glad I gave her a good kick in the leg while she was pregnant with you. <laughs> well, at least she's good at handling the housework. So I figured I'd keep her around to save money on hiring maids and cleaners. Pretty clever move on my part, don't you think? Wait, so you're telling me that you're just using mom as a slave to meet your own selfish demands? There's something seriously messed up in your thinking, dad. You got it right on the money. All I know is that I'm feeling completely wrecked right now and I could really use a massage. If your worthless mom can't even handle the basic duties of being a wife, like taking care of her husband's needs, then what good is she, huh? Could you... Please stop with the name calling towards mom. She's a human being, you know, and she's putting in a lot of effort for her family. She deserves nothing less than respect from you. Effort? Really? You think doing those chores requires some sort of Herculean effort? Give me a break. 
Even someone with a couple of brain cells could handle those tasks without breaking a sweat. Heck, even a three-year-old could tackle those domestic chores like they're nothing but fun and games. Do you even grasp the size of our house? It's a massive 10,000 square foot mansion. But guess who's left to handle all the cleaning, laundry, dishwashing, yard work, and other chores? Mom and I. That's who. Do you seriously think these tasks are just a walk in the park? And do you even remember that day when mom collapsed from the overwhelming workload you put on her? And? Why should I give a damn about that? Remember, I'm the one with the money in this place. Got it? You and your mom are living under my roof, so you better follow my rules without a peep. If you think it's too much to handle, I'll happily kick both of you out onto the streets in your PJs. And don't even think about taking anything with you, not even clothes or essentials. I bet you'd freeze your butts off like popsicles as soon as you step outside and perish in the icy snow. <laughs> what? We're your own family. You can't be seriously considering tossing us out the house like it's no big deal. Why can't I? I'm your damn father, the one in charge of this household, and the only one with money and authority around here. Now quit arguing and tell your mom to get her butt off that hospital bed and come back home immediately. You know how much I hate repeating myself. I swear, if I have to wait another minute, I'll make sure you and your mom hit the dirt sooner than you can imagine. Dad, who's that girl sitting in our living room? Did you invite her over to our house? Oh, so you've already met Elena, the love of my life, huh? <laughs> what? The true love of your life? What are you trying to say exactly? What's so shocking about it? Haven't I mentioned this before? I've never seen your mom as my wife, so it's only natural that I find someone else to take her place. I'm not dumb, you know. Don't worry, Elena will give you a little brother, something Crystal couldn't do in our entire 15 years of marriage. <laughs> You'll have a new mom and a brother. Aren't you thrilled, Catherine? No, I won't accept it. I only have one mother and her name is Crystal. You're being a horrible person for bringing a stranger into our house and then having the nerve to declare her as my new mom? It's just cruel and absolutely disgusting, Dad. What? How dare you defy my orders? Where is your worthless excuse of a mother? Don't tell me she's still stuck in that damn hospital. That useless cow better get her butt back here immediately and face the consequences for raising an insolent child like you. I swear, once she steps foot in this house, I'm gonna give her a real good beating for this. <laughs> you really are intolerable, Dad. What? Do you want me to smack you too? Now, Catherine, your new mom is feeling hungry. So why don't you go to the kitchen and cook something tasty for her? You've got five minutes, so get a move on. Time's ticking. Elena gets pretty impatient and she doesn't like waiting around. What are you even saying? Now you're expecting me to cook for your mistress? Have you completely lost your mind? And? You don't seem thrilled about it, huh? Well, better get used to the idea because Elena is going to be staying with us in this house from now on. She'll be sharing my room, so you need to clear out your mom's clothes and other stuff to make space for Elena's belongings. Oh, and don't forget to help your new mom unpack her boxes as well. Just a friendly reminder, if you mess up any of her things, get ready to be beaten like a dog. No, I won't do any of the things you just mentioned. If you want them done, you can handle it yourself. She's your mistress and you brought her into her home. So it's your responsibility to take care of her. She's not my friend, relative, or blood-related, so I have no obligations towards that woman. I'm heading to the hospital to check on mom. Excuse me? Now you're even daring to defy my orders, you savage? You're nothing but a pathetic parasite, living off my money. Got it? You're not allowed to talk back to me like that. I'm gonna cut off your college tuition, and then you'll turn into an uneducated, useless slob. Just like your dear old mother. Is that what you want? Catherine! Are you even listening? How dare you ignore my messages like that? I swear, both you and your mom are going to suffer the consequences for going against my will. Dad, why did you just go all crazy on me and mom? Throwing us out and slamming the door shut? You straight up punched mom in the gut and slapped me in the face. 
Don't you get it? Mom's still dealing with her last injury and you're adding more fuel to the fire. You punched her so hard that blood started leaking from her lips. Yeah, that's exactly what you freeloaders deserve. Consider it a well-deserved life lesson for daring to defy my orders. How dare you have the audacity to stay at the hospital for two whole days and completely disregard my commands? That's why you need to learn the hard way through a hefty dose of good old-fashioned pain. Dad, can you please open the door for me and mom? It's freezing out here and we have nowhere else to go. Could you at least let us stay for a couple more days until I find a new place for both mom and me to live? Why should I bother opening the door for a bunch of useless parasites who can't even handle basic housework? It's been two whole days since your worthless mother left and this place has turned into an absolute disaster. Dirty clothes strewn everywhere, dishes piling up, and no one bothering to make meals for me. So, tell me, why should I keep letting you leeches strut around and do absolutely nothing while I'm still mooching off my hard-earned money? Do you think I'm some kind of idiot or what? What are you even going on about? Didn't I already explain that mom's not doing well? If you were in her position, do you honestly think you could just snap your fingers and magically recover overnight to resume all the housework? She's a human being, not some kind of super-powered machine. Can you please show a bit more sympathy for her? Oh, for crying out loud. Spare me your endless drivel. I've had enough of your nonsense. I won't tolerate laziness in this house, clear? You and your mom are nothing but deadweight, sucking up my hard-earned money without contributing a single thing of value. Parasites like you have no place in my house. All you do is lounge around like you're some kind of entitled queen. What? It's actually you who lazes around the house and doesn't do anything significant. Not anyone else. You don't even have a job and rely solely on grandpa's inheritance. The house, the money, and all the assets you're enjoying right now, they all came from grandpa. Who cares? My dad handed them all over to me, so they're mine now. You have no right to boss me around when it comes to my cash, you little spoiled brat. Just stay out there in the cold weather and die alone for all I care. You and your trashy mom deserve it. And don't even think for a second that I'll go out there and retrieve your dead bodies. You'll freeze all by yourselves and end up buried in the snow. <laughs> Hey, Catherine, any idea when you and your mom will be back? I'm starving. Nobody bothered to cook or feed me anything. I had to scrounge up whatever was left in the fridge, but now it's practically empty. You slammed the door and didn't let mom and me inside, didn't you? Well, now you'll have to face the consequences of your actions. By the way, since you have your mistress Elena by your side, why don't you ask her to whip up a meal for you? Are you kidding me? She doesn't even know how to turn on the stove, let alone cooking. I told her to get off her lazy bum and go grab some food for me, but she straight up said no. Oh my goodness, she's even lazier than I am. <laughs> yeah, like anyone would actually listen and follow your commands. Only mom can tolerate your laziness in abusive ways. It's honestly a miracle that she stuck around all these years without a single complaint. Do you even realize that she had to run and hide just to avoid getting hurt by you? I get it, okay? I messed up, and now I finally see how important you and your mom are to this household. You two are like valuable assets, and I want you to come back home and live with me. So, what do you think? Do we have a deal? Nah, we're not going back to that place. You can have your fairy tale ending in your fancy mansion with your precious mistress. She's gonna give you a son, and you three can enjoy your lives together. That's what you've always desired, right? But, but Elena's already gone. And it's pretty darn empty and lonely living in this massive mansion all by my lonesome. Catherine, I'm begging you. Please come back home and live with us. Tell your mom the same thing. I've finally come to the realization that I can't survive without you and Crystal. You're everything I've got. You're the reason I'm alive. Honestly, I just can't go on without you. Oh really? So Alina took off, huh? That's strange. I mean, you're sitting on a fat inheritance from your grandfather, right? Or did something happen to that? Well, something... something seriously freaky happened. You won't even believe it, even if I tell you. Honestly, my heart is still racing just thinking about it. Really? What happened? I'm dying to know what could possibly scare you so much. It's like the house is haunted or something. Elena saw it first, but I brush it off, thinking she was just seeing things. I mean, come on, right? But then, something happened that made me think twice. And what exactly went down? 
don't think I'm losing it, but I actually saw the ghost myself. I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. This girl with long hair and pajamas, her hair covering her whole face, keeps showing up at night like around 11 to 12. She just stands there near the garden, covered in dirt from head to toe, like she crawled right out of a graveyard or something. And the creepiest part? She sings the exact same song my grandma used to sing to me when I was a kid. I'm not kidding, it's beyond terrifying. I'm literally shaking right now just talking about her. Oh seriously? That's beyond weird to say the least. Who do you think she could be? Is she the ghostly version of grandma or something? I don't know, it's possible, considering how grandma passed away. I wouldn't even be surprised if she decided to come back and haunt the house. How did grandma die? I thought it was just solely due to her old age. No, it was way worse than that. Actually, it's partly my dad's fault. He made my mom work like crazy on the farm all by herself without barely any rest. Sometimes she'd go for 17, 18 hours straight. Then, one day, she was so exhausted and worn out that she accidentally fell into the well and lost her life. We searched everywhere around the house but couldn't find her. It wasn't until a few days later that they found her body in the well. <laughs> oh my god! I can't even wrap my head around it! Grandma went through the same treatment from Grandpa as Mom does for you. <laughs> you and Grandpa are both heartless monsters. I get it, I get it. I'm sorry, okay? I never wanted any of this to go down. I know I was being selfish, and I'm ready to make it right. Just please, come back home and let's live together again. I promise I'll treat you and Crystal with the respect you deserve. I swear on my name, I'm gonna do better. Give me a chance, please. No way, Jacob. You've hurt me and mom repeatedly. Your words and actions have been nothing but abusive. Abuse runs in your veins just like it did with your father. I highly doubt you'll ever change. So go ahead and enjoy your solitary life in that haunted mansion, Jacob. There's no one left to help you now. You're on your own. Good luck. No. Catherine, please listen to your dear father. I've completely changed. I'm not the man I used to be now. I'm now a kind-hearted, loving and caring man who's willing to do anything to make up to his wife and daughter. You and Crystal are the best thing that has ever happened in my life. Please, I need you both. You can't just leave me here all alone. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm afraid that the ghost of grandma will take me with her to graveyard. Catherine, are you there? Please answer me, Catherine. Mom, are you ready to go back to our old house? It's been a whole month, you know? I think it's safe now. Yes, let's do it, my sweetheart. I'm truly sorry that you had to endure so much because of me. <laughs> what are you saying, Mom? You haven't done anything wrong at all. It's not your fault. I'm the one who should be sorry for not being able to protect you better from Dad's abuse. I feel so useless and powerless. No, my dear. It's not your fault. It's all on me. I should have left that marriage much sooner. I should have been the one protecting you. Not the other way around. I'm your mother. And I should have done better. But everything's fine now, right? After that whole scare with the ghost, Jacob ran away from the house without taking anything with him. I'm pretty sure he won't have the courage to come back. Some people even spotted him sprinting deep into the woods. I am incredibly relieved that we've managed to escape from Jacob. The years of abuse we endured were just too much for me to bear. I owe it all to you for devising such a brilliant plan. Thank you, my dear. Yeah, it all started when I was cleaning up the basement and stumbled upon an old newspaper article. It talked about how Grandma died by falling into a well. What struck me as odd was that Jacob and even Grandfather never mentioned it. That's when I started suspecting they were hiding something. I dug deeper and found an old, dusty book that seemed to be Grandma's diary. In the diary, Patricia wrote about the terrible mistreatment she endured from Grandfather. It made me think that her death could be somehow connected to the abuse she suffered. That's when I came up with the idea to pretend to be the ghost of Grandma and scare Jacob away. Poor Patricia. Even I never got to know the real cause of her that because nobody ever told me. It's so incredibly shocking and heart-wrenching to hear her story. I can't even imagine the pain and suffering she endured from her abusive husband. I can relate to her experiences on a deep level. It's incredibly disheartening, Mom. But don't worry. 
I've already contacted the press to uncover the truth about Patricia and expose all the horrible things that grandfather did to her. And thanks to your bravery in giving the police all the evidence they need, Jacob's abuse will come to light as well. I know the Morgans are seen as this powerful and respected family in our small town, but it's time for people to know about their dark secrets. They can't keep hiding their sins forever. Thank you, Catherine, for always being there for me. I consider myself incredibly fortunate to have a daughter like you. I promise to make it up to you for all the terrible things you had to endure when we were living with Jacob. I am determined to be the best mother I can be for you. You know what, Mom? It's more than all right. You've always been an amazing mother to me. And that never changed. Not even for a second. Now, what are we even waiting for? Let's pack our bags, move back into our old house, and kickstart a brand new chapter in our lives. I can't even put words into how excited I am. Let's take that leap of faith and embrace the future with open arms. I'm right here with you. And I couldn't be more thrilled about what lies ahead. After being left alone in the vast mansion, Jacob's fear grew to the point where he didn't dare step foot outside. However, as his supplies dwindled, he mustered the courage to venture out for something to eat. It was during this opportune moment that I executed a plan that would leave an indelible mark on him for the rest of his days. The risk was high, but in the end, it proved to be successful. My little stunt frightened Jacob so much that he fled for his life, vanishing into the distance. Now. My mom and I have returned to the mansion, ready to embark on a fresh chapter of our lives. Undoubtedly, maintaining such a large estate poses its challenges, but we are determined to remain there to care for Patricia's room and cherish all that reminds us of her. I believe that somewhere in heaven, she can finally breathe a sigh of relief as her husband's wrongdoings are exposed. My mom has endured so much throughout her life, but now she can find solace in the fact that Jacob is no longer present to abuse and mistreat her. The inheritance left behind by my grandfather provides us with more than enough to live a lavish lifestyle. But rather than indulging solely in our own desires, we have chosen to donate a portion of it to support those who have suffered from abuse. As for me, I have resumed my studies in college, eagerly anticipating a future filled with hopes and dreams. The journey ahead appears brighter than ever, and I'm grateful for the newfound peace and opportunities that await us.